uh, from the University of, of Utah, and she's going to be talking to us about assimilating SIF and three observations into the community land model using DART. So, yeah, take it away, please, Shirley. Thanks for the introduction, Indy. Yeah. Uh, so, here, what I have, everyone, um, yeah, I'm going to talk about this. Um, so, start from the background. Uh, the, we know the growth primor, primary productivity is amount of carbon absorbed by plants from the air um, during a certain amount of time. Uh, and uh, it uh, matters for global warming because uh, it will influence the amount of carbon in the atmosphere. Uh, so this, so I'm sorry, let me just uh, put my laser on. Uh, okay, okay, uh, I'm so sorry. Um, okay, okay, anyway. Anyway, forget about it. Uh, so this figure here shows the daily GBP product uh, from uh, uh, derived from the satellite Tropomi in the NASA carbon monitoring system. Uh, and uh, uh, for me, this is a little bit different from what's in mind because uh, uh, in the Western United States, you can see um, the the GBP is it doesn't really sh uh, give you a clear measure of. Uh, what locations of mountain uh, and in my mind it should the GBP uh, should look like uh, the locations of GBP should uh, look like uh, uh, should more align with uh, the locations of high mountains high mountains in the western sea because they're because that's where the uh, forests are and uh, they have a lot of uh, they have great potential for carbon uptake um, and uh, I want to know uh, what GPP looks like in the community land model and how and whether we can use uh, uh, data simulation to improve GPP in the Western United States. Um, and uh, we know there are various satellite observations such as MODIS LEI and, uh, um, and uh, uh, some satellite products of the, uh, the solar induced fluorescence and uh, also some good, good data product for snow water equivalent. Uh, and we know in the model, GBP is influenced by uh, LEI, uh, lip, nitri uh, lip nitri, and uh, soil moisture. Uh, in the previous studies, um, they focus on uh, using um, the LEI satellite uh, data, mostly modus to um, constrain, uh, for, for example, leaf carbon to improve LEI so that it will improve GBP. Uh, but in our study, we are trying to uh, explore how well, if we simulate, how well GPP will be improved if we simulate uh, solar induced fluorescence and uh, the snow water equivalent. Mm. So by doing this, we can answer questions, for example, like uh, uh, in which subregion in the area, uh, whether uh, GPP is limited, whether GPP, GPP is limited by water in uh, in summer, especially in mainland late summer, and whether uh, whether the leaf nitrogen is a limitation for GBP in the early seasons. Um, and uh, we are using community land model with our SIF module implemented uh, in it. Uh, and the SIF module is uh, uh, developed by the folks uh, from University of Virginia. Um, and we are using uh, DART as a simulation tool to assimilate uh, daily sway and the monthly solar induced fluorescence. Uh, so for um, so for the sweet simulation, we uh, adjust uh, the total column, uh, the total columns uh, SWE in a model, and then uh, using the snow partitioning, uh, partitioning model, basically you can see it as a module to distribute, to distribute uh, uh, this change of the total columns we into different layers uh, in terms of mass and, uh, um, and uh, the thickness. Um, and for and for stuff, we basically go through the traditional two steps. The first is to um, change uh, change the stuff in the model, and then we are relying on the correlation between leaf nitrogen and stuff to adjust the leaf nitrogen. In terms of the mechanism be behind uh, the scheme, the, uh, this assumption, uh, because we know in in the community model, uh, leaf nitrogen will uh, influence. Uh, uh, the VC max and yeah, through VC max, uh, uh, GPP will be impacted. And uh, in a SIF module, uh, because it's, in the SIF module, SIF is calculated by using GP. So we kind of think, okay, if we if we change the um, the value of with with nitrogen, that could uh, have impact on GPP. Um, 
uh, so from here, I'm talking about uh, the snow, the sweet uh, desolation. We have uh, basically two challenges in this part. The first is that we have some in, we have some um, issue with uh, the snow input from the sphere because as you can see um, in this as you can see in this map, it doesn't really you know tell. Uh, or reflect the reality where the, the high mountains are, or because we uh, we assume uh, it should look like uh, um, it should like it should look like the the uh, the Reynolds data, the sweet Reynolds data that uh, uh, actually reflect the locations of the uh, um, high mountains in west in the western United States, um, and also um, and also the pattern of the sweet from the CLM doesn't. Um, doesn't uh, reflect uh, what the snow does as we um, reflects it either. Um, and uh, so if we look at one gray cell in this uh, region, uh, what we see is that uh, uh, you you can see uh, in this gray cell, we have, we hardly have uh, snow uh, within the water year of 2004. Um, and if you look at uh, the snow melt, uh, we notice that uh, uh, even if there's a um, even if there's a very large we, uh, but it, that's we can quickly uh, melt within like a few few days, um, and to deal with this uh, um, to deal with this issue, especially in terms of the the snow input, uh, no the snow uh, melt, uh, we actually um, using a quite simple method, uh, which means uh, when we when the model. Uh, when a model see there's no sway, but the observation definitely see the, there's sway. We will, um, we will utilize the observation um, uh, distribution. Uh, we assume the observation follows a normal distribution, and with, uh, uh, and we can randomly sample from this distribution and get our value, um, and then assign that assign that value uh, as a posterior. Um, and also, this gave us a chance to say, okay, if we create snow, but we really want to, we really want to keep that snow from melting. Uh, we just, uh, uh, we we tune in another option. We just uh, assimilate all of them um, to keep so that this we can keep. Uh, so this is uh, so this is kind of result over uh, the West United States. As you can see, this figure shows you um, uh, in the COM the sweet, you know, what what sweet looks like, and this is. Uh, our um, this is our result from uh, implementing uh, implementing those two uh, two uh, options in in Dart, um, and also if you look at the time series of the SWE uh, in the West United States, uh, what you can really see is that uh, um, we do you know we, we can keep the SWE um, we can keep the SWE uh, until uh, after until the date after Ju July first, and uh, what it does. What that uh what that means for the gross primary um product productivity, uh, if you look at time series, uh, we don't see very two two minutes left, Shirley. Okay, we don't see we don't see any um any changes of the uh GBP um, but if you look at uh, the spatial maps, uh, what you can see is that uh, um what you can see is that uh, uh, I have to say this story, uh, this story, this story um. Uh, various amount of locations uh, in, in basically in Greece, basically in regions where so water limited, we do see a GPP surge, but uh, snow can also uh, can also change the snow albedo and fraction that that in fact uh, the temperature and that, that might uh, um, change GPP too. Uh, so for SIF, this is uh, the time series of SIF over this uh, you know, over this region, and we can see DA does a very good job. Um, and in terms of the uh, annual mean, it is decreased by 43%. And uh, we do, and the uh, um, CIF also, the CIF DA also improves the leaf air index in this region. And uh, um, we found that the GBP can be improved in summer by tuning uh, leaf nitrogen uh, uh, in the CIF assimilation. Uh, so as a summary, um, SWE DA uh, changes the seasonality of GBP during to the impact of of the soil moisture and other environment factors such as uh, the temperature. And uh, uh, for SIF, we still have some, uh, we still have to do some modifications to refine the way how we nitrogen uh, as outer. And our final goal is using um, the satellite observations of LEI SIF 
and uh, the slowdown speed to improve GBP. Yeah. 